Well, oh, making a truck out to pull a trail camera. Um, I set it out probably two weeks ago. It's uh, from New View. Um, they sent it to me and asked me to do a review on it. Um, told them I would. I put it out, uh, I think it's been exactly two weeks. Um, but I gotta, I can't drive to it. Uh, the sun loading up his side by side. He's going on a trip. So I had to park down that lane behind me where I was parking for uh, turkey hunting. It's uh, 59 degrees out and a north wind. And got the thermos out with me and I'm looking at a deer right now looking at me. There ain't no sense of trying it with this thing. I'll never get that close. In fact, there's two, three, four of them standing there. Looking right at me. But like I was saying though, with this high wind, there ain't one friggin' mosquito. Beautiful night. I will say, there is a frost freeze warning out for tonight up on the west end of the UP. A frost freeze warning. Wow. June 10th and a frost freeze warning. Unbelievable. Well, they say that's Michigan. Wait five minutes and the weather will change. But it just feels like a fall day out here right now. Nice out. I could live with this for about six months out of the year. And then about three months out of the year, about 30 degrees and four to two or snow. Yeah, that'd be my kind of ideal living conditions. So, no, we're just about ready to head into the hardwoods where them deer just came out of. And we'll see what this trail camera has to offer. So, we'll catch back up with you in a few. Um, I received this uh, trail camera uh, a couple weeks ago from New View Hunting. It's uh, one of their new cameras. It's called the T5. Um, open it up here. I've already had it out in the field. Um, of course, it comes with your instructions. The camera itself. strap comes with a micro SD card 32 gigabyte which I already have in the camera already but it comes with that and it takes up to a 256 gigabyte card and it comes with a mounting bracket that you can put on a tree or anything you can uh, screw it right to it it's got a swivel head here and it comes with your USB cable in this package here. So, um, this camera can run on four or eight AA batteries. Now, when 
inside here in this case in this side here you pull this out now if you run it with four you got to go either to the top or bottom you can't put like two here and two here you have to go either four up here or four down but it runs on four or eight And it's got your menu, your replay, OK buttons, and your sides, and up and down here. And then down here on the bottom, it's got on and test. And it's got a couple clamps here to close it. And what I like about it here on the back side, it's got three different slots that you can put your strap to and it's got a buckle strap at the end you can either run like I said top middle or bottom when I had this on a tree for testing I put it through the middle loop and around now when you get in here you know it tells you what what's all in, included what functions each function does now you can uh, you can choose photos or just video or both um, your photo resolution you got 48 megapixel 32 20 16 12 and 8 uh, and it defaults at 5 megapixels so right now I got mine set at 4 48 uh, the photo series you can set well the one photo is default you got two photos in a series three photos or ten photos I default I changed mine to two photos video resolution you can go up to uh, 380 to, to uh, 2688 I think I got mine set at uh, 1920. Uh, it's got video resolution, 8 megapixel, 5, and 3. I set mine at 8. Video length, you can go 10 seconds is default, 3 seconds, or 10 minutes. I set mine at 10 minutes. Um, audio recording. Uh, you can it's default is on but you can shut off if you don't want sound the shot lag uh, the interval between each trigger speed um, 30 seconds is default or you got two minutes or 60 minutes so I set mine at 30 seconds um, sensitivity motion um, you got low medium high medium is or middle I should say not middle or not medium middle is default that's what I kept it at uh, the target recording time uh, you can set the camera to record between a certain period off is default but I got it on and the time lapse uh, you got normal and off I, I kept mine at normal you got language of course English and all the way down um, the date and the time if you want uh, date and time photo stamped uh, password protection I skipped that the beep I, I shut that off on is default um, when you slide your SD card in here in the program where it says uh, memory card it'll uh, format your memory card So I put mine, I put eight batteries in mine. Most cameras I've run before didn't have all that. They just had on and off, photo or video, but not combined. And that was it, date and time. 
so there was no setting up all the what size megapixel and what size this there was none of that this is the first camera that I've ever had that's done that um, I've had bad experiences with off-brand cameras um, for example the CY I've had two of them and neither one of them worked and I had a meta Metasol or Metasil or whatever it was that worked one year and when it was out of warranty it didn't work and I had another camera and I don't know the name of it and it worked and it didn't work and it worked and it didn't work so I threw it away so name brand cameras is what I've had success with so it'll be interesting to see how this does um, seems like a pretty nice camera with all the settings and the different spots for the uh, strap to put on the tree and you can like I said you can run it on four double A's or eight double A's and it says you can just take this camera as is with all the default settings and just put it out in the woods you don't even have to do nothing but they recommend that you go in and set however you want it to get better quality for yourself so this is the new view T5 I don't believe it's on the market yet um, there's been a lot of reviews on this camera so far um, I will say I had it out and I didn't get one deer um, I'll show you the pictures here in a minute um, I got me of course taking it out there and then I got me of course going out to get it there's pictures and videos of that that I'll put in here but uh, no all in all it seems like a pretty nice camera um, I don't know no price or anything on it just yet um, but it's from new view and like I said it's fairly new so new it's not even out to the public yet so new view t5 trail camera no it's not a cellular camera um, I've never used a cellular camera I I don't know um, like I said before 90% of my cameras are up north at deer camp out in the woods out there um, I got these out I just put another competitor one out there on the land I was hunting late season in this year um, I'm gonna probably go put this over where I had all the deer activity and the turkey activity during bull season I'm gonna probably set this up over there I just set this up over where I was because it's easy access for me to get to. Um, there's a ton of mud and a ton of water back to where I used where I was bow hunting, so I will get out there. Um, I'll talk to the landowner and see if I can go out there um, and put this out there. Hopefully, I'll get some deer on it. But no, I got pictures of me and video of me, so I mean, it's better than nothing. I, like I said, I've had it out for two weeks, and I thought, well, it's time to get the review out on it. Um, the picture and the video, I think, is pretty good. Um, I've never had cameras that had volume or sound with the video, and this one picked up the sound of me. So, yep, New View. It's the T5 trail camera from New View. I want to thank you for watching and stay tuned for more reviews from New View. Like I said in my previous video, they sent me another um, see through blind. Um, I will be doing that in the next couple days. I'll review on that. Hopefully, it goes better than the last one. And there's other reviews to come to on other products. So, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later.